the 319 PTU and take a look at the new Star Citizen tutorial that's been going on. Um, it was a pretty... Uh, actually, I was kind of surprised when I saw it because uh, I was just jumping into 319 to do some more cutter salvage because I kind of enjoy it. And I happened to see the tutorial option. It's just a yes or no. Like, you don't have to play it if you don't want to, but they tell you that it's going to be a 30-minute wait if you do decide to play it. Um, you won't have access to any of your... Uh, purchased ships so keep that in mind it's a um it's kind of a uh mandatory you have to finish this thing it, it appears anyway so i decided to go ahead and play through it and take a look at it and you know share it with you guys so tutorial your first steps exit bed welcome to star citizen this this tutorial will walk you through your first steps toward life among the stars in the 30th century to exit from beds or seating press y Okay, I have completed my first objective. I'm now in my hab in Art Corp. Um, somebody was not nice and left a bunch of junk everywhere. They left me a burrito, maybe? Maybe not. Okay. New objective is check your journal. Okay. Your Moby Glass, Moby Glass journal. Your Moby Glass personal computer features a journal where useful information and documents are kept. Press F1 to access your Moby Glass, and from the bottom row of icons, select the journal app. Okay. So from the bottom row of icons, select journal, which is this one right here. Welcome to the verse. Welcome to Star Citizen. You've just stepped 930 years into a future where humanity has spread across the stars under the rule of the United Empire of Earth. While many humans spend their lives never leaving their home world, there are those who choose to travel aboard advanced starships, braving outlaws, hostile aliens, and hazardous conditions to seek their fortune. Currently, you are in Area 18 on Artcorp, the third planet in the Stanton system, a great distance from humanity's origins of the solar system. The four planets in the system are owned by megacorporations who each purchased a planet from the UEE and now govern their own region of space. They are Hurston Dynamics, Crusader Industries, Artcorp, and Microtech. Area 18 is the main commercial zone of the megacity that sprawls across the, sur the surface of Artcorp, from here, the tutorial will guide you to Baijini Point, the space station in orbit above the planet that can serve as your gateway to further exploration to stay in the system. Okay, so the first thing I've noticed is this is a little bit different from anything else you ever see in the game because it says, Welcome to Star Citizen, you have just stepped 930 years into a future. So, Star, Cis Star, C Star Citizen as a rule never breaks the... Um, the fourth wall and they are doing it here which I actually don't like I would prefer if the even the tutorial stayed in immersive zone but anyway this is how they've decided to do it so that's okay all right eat food drink water use interaction mode to eat the burrito and drink the water in your head but what if I don't want a burrito okay I'm gonna eat the burrito right, am I assuming I don't have my helmet on yeah, I don't. It actually it actually made me eat the burrito. Um, okay. And then, oh, oh, just you, you eat and drink. You don't even have to click. I think it just does it. Oh, no, I have to. I have to click. Oh, never mind. Interaction mode, quick press. Use the interaction mode F to open the Hab's exit. Once you leave, you will not be able to return. To quickly use an item's main interaction while near the item, simply press F. Okay, so they don't tell you to drop the water, but I'm going to go ahead and drop the water. That's why we have all the trash here. People are doing the tutorial. Let's go ahead and use F there. Which is something I don't usually do. I always use, like, F and then click because I'm paranoid that it's not going to register the, the, the press, but... like right there I don't think I registered the press there we go enter the elevator and use interaction mode F to select ground floor on the interior elevator controls so Star Citizen is very complicated and like even this tutorial so far seems kind of complex but anyway all right view the area map what oh oh they added an area map See, this is this wasn't here before. 
I've also got the Invictus launch week stuff going on. And the area map's bugged. There we go. Nope. Cities and space stations filled with signs help, can help guide you. Oh, never mind. Alright, head to Cubby Blast. Um, that's kind of cool. I like how they have everything here. Mm. They See, they need to make this accessible from your Moby Glass, not from just here. Um, but anyway. Uh, to sprint for a limited time, hold left shift. You can also crouch by suppressing left control and jump by pressing space bar. Alright. Uh, okay, so yeah, I'm here at Cubby Blast. Cubby Blast. Um, to survive in the vacuum space and other harsh environments, be sure to equip your undersuit with a helmet. Okay, so they want you to come here and buy something. So let's just buy a helmet. Um, armor. Helmets. Buy, like, buy an orc helmet, who cares? All right, so we completed our first purchase. Um, and they're adding a bunch of uh, journal entries so that... Um, okay, so they got these little blurbs showing us where... Oh. Game might have crashed. Okay, there we go. Um, big lag spike. So they've got these... Um, they have these, like, uh, floating waypoints now that you can see where you head to the city flight uh, transit terminal. I'll go ahead. And, well, they might make this a, a tutorial option later. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Boop, boop, boop. Riding through here. Running down. Downstairs. Going towards the tram. And then now we play Commute Citizen, where we just wait for the tram to arrive, which I actually kind of like. A lot of people hate this, like absolutely despise it, but I kind of like it. I don't know. Maybe I hate myself. I don't know. And open. Alright, now we're in. Objective complete. Board the city to the light shuttle. Alright. Ah, your first flight. Exit the shuttle at Racker Memorial Spaceport. They should tell you when. They should tell you when to exit because it's, it might not be completely clear when um, when somebody actually. Oh, another lag spike. Um, it might not be totally clear when you need to jump off. They should tell you. Exit is coming up. Get off your shuttle at the next stop to reach the spaceport. Okay, at your next, at your next stop. Okay, so there is some information. Uh, the thing is, a lot of people are not going to read the little, the little tiny text on the right. Like on my screen, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but on my screen, it's very small. And like, I'm afraid new players are going to be like so busy, now like arriving. looking around at everything. Because there's a lot to look at, let's face it. Like The vast majority of this is stuff to look at. Um, people are just going to be like, Oh, hey, wow, I'm looking at stuff. And they might not realize this is where they're supposed to get off. But anyway. Hangers. Ooh, Invictus. Idris Frigate. Alright, anyway. Um, locate a fleet manager terminal. Okay. And another lag spike. Ooh, those are hitting us hard. Run, run, run. Commute citizen. You look like a Navy pilot. Yes, it's quite prim and proper. Alright, anyway. Uh, fleet manager terminal. So, these are, these have, uh, quote, quote, locally, these are quote, quote, locally, whatever, however you say that word, known as uh, ASOP terminals. Well, the ASOP, the ASOP, 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 ASOP system. system. Yeah, like that. Um, my eyes keep drifting over towards DefenseCon, but I must refrain from Drake. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Airspace, Retrieval System. Airspace Organization Procedure Terminals. Ah, that's what that stands for. 
Uh, are used to retrieve and store vehicles. A tutorial ship has been temporarily assigned to you. Complete the tutorial to access your vehicles. Okay. Please visit us again. So they give you a little Pisces. They could give you a better ship. Honestly, they should probably give you a better ship. But, okay, whatever. Oh, you have to deliver it first. Also, they could skip the section for Welcome. the tutorial. Welcome. That would be nice. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your I'm vehicle sorry. has been delivered That's to the following location. location. Vehicle selected. There Stand by. That took forever. Welcome. Your vehicle, vehicle has been delivered to the following location. location. Hangar Please 5. Visit Welcome. Us so we're going to run here. Observe the ship marker on your hood to review the hangar where it's currently stored. Use spaceport hangar elevators to reach the appropriate hangar. There we go, finally. Let's see if these guys are coming with me. Doesn't look like they are. Alright. We are now approaching the Pisces. Approach the ship and use the interaction mode F to lower the ramp. Don't forget to close the ramp behind you. Alright, now we've got to use the little button. the interaction mode to sit in the pilot seat. Uh, by the way, if you haven't seen the Pisces before, this is the Pisces. The Pisces is a really cool ship. Um, it's like on the same scale as a cutter, like in how nice it is, but the, the cargo capacity is a bit smaller, quite a bit smaller. To set all the ship systems to flight ready, press R. Okay, that's nice to know because I don't really know how to do that. I've always used the interaction mode. That's nice. Contact aircraft traffic control, left alt and in to request permission to take off and open the hangar doors. So really they're just simplifying everything. That's all they're doing. Like normally the way that I would contact ATC, I've been trained to do this from the time I was born, is go to menu, comms, then you call. But you know, this is, this is a lot more streamlined just to use the keyboard commands. Okay, they really ought to tell you to hold the space bar to take off. Maybe that maybe I just said they did, but anyway. They really ought to have flight instructions here. Follow the checkpoints out of Area 18. I don't see them. Oh. I mean, okay, that's fine. We can do it this way, but people realistically only fly up, so. Thank you. And please visit again. And the Pisces is fighting me today. Also, it's dark out and I cannot see a thing. Visibility is nil. Kind of nice. Those black clouds are nice. Ooh. Yeah, those black clouds are nice. Really? What? Velocity, adjust your maximum flight speed using the mouse wheel. See, they really should have told me this a long time ago. Velocity gauge on the left side of your hood, square icon, exit the gauge in case maximum flight speed. Okay, that's good. Okay, so so this could be better. They should be literally putting arrows where these things need to be. Like, like, boom, right here. This is your maximum flight speed. Boom, this is your velocity reticle. Like, you know. Make it super duper obvious. Like to activate cruise control, uh, press C to slow down and engage your brakes. Press X. So I guess what they're doing here is they're teaching you how to fly. At this point, they're like, get away from the get away from the airport, and now try flying. Press X. To, okay. Yeah, what they're doing is they're just kind of teaching you how to how to fly in atmosphere. Which isn't helpful because, as you can see, this Pisces is like 
not wanting to fight the air, and they're making me turn and stuff, too. They should give you, like, a... Not a Merlin, but something like a Razor for this or something. No, they should give you an Avenger. That's what they should be giving you, an Avenger Titan, because that is the traditional training ship. That's what was supposed to be the training ship, anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, so far this, uh, this tutorial is actually pretty good. Maybe I'm just being, like, super cynical tonight. But, anyway. And this is the slowest way to get out of Area 18, like, ever. All right, I followed the checkpoints. Use quantum travel to reach by genie point. Okay, nice. They just show you. Hey, boom, right there. To travel greater distances faster, enter quantum travel mode by pressing B. Next, align with your destination. When your drive is fully spooled, spool, spool, hold B to initiate travel. And okay, here we are. Okay, so we're not we're not going across the system. Three kilometers out. Now they're going to ask me to. Oh, after exiting quantum travel, check your speed as you approach your destination. Regain manual control over your ship's speed. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Thanks. Once you are over near the station, request for landing permission. Proceed to assign landing bay. Where are we going? Where are we going? Boom. There we are. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. There we are. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Get down here. In. Yeah, so far this is pretty good. Now we need to store the tutorial ship. Complete. Have a pleasant Congratulations day. on touching down safely. Exit the text at the pilot seat, hold Y. Okay, take the elevator to the station lobby. I also like how the tutorial, so far at least, is just how to get out of a landing zone. Because people need that. People need, like, how on earth do I actually get to the game? I mean, the, you know, there's a lot to explore with landing zones, but you can't, like, engage in, you know, the typical gameplay there. So this is nice. I, I like this. Alright, go to the lobby. They told me this would take 30 minutes. Uh, I don't think like it's taking me 30 minutes. But then again, I'm a seasoned player, so I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, we're gonna store the ship. Welcome Use any of the terminals to the ASOC to store vehicle retrieval the system. And complete the tutorial. Once completed, you will be able to access your own ship's running fleet manager terminal. There we go. Let's see if it gives me access to all the, like, 3.19 PTU ships I should have Please access visit to. Us again. Yeah, tutorial completed, Goodbye. saying. And they gave you 15,000 credits. That's nice. Wow. Well, that puts a lot less emphasis on the 5,000 credits you get for getting, like, a, um, a thing. But it's nice to start out with some money. So that's nice. I like that. Welcome so, to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. They should also... Okay, yeah, so here's all the PTU ships I have access to. Please so, visit us again. They should tell you that you're going to get 15,000 credits from this. I mean, they might, and maybe I just missed it, but they should make it very clear. Like, even before you open the game, because at the very beginning, when you log in for the first time and you go through character customization, they ask you, do you want to play the tutorial? They should tell you right there, hey, you're going to make 15,000 credits. Like, that's, that's pretty good. 15,000 credits is very decent for a new player um, to start out with. Like, that gives you, like... That means that, like, I can go pump some cash because I got $20 in my pocket here in, you know, by Genie Point where there's, you know, like some armor shops, maybe a weapon shop, 
Uh, and that would get me started here near Art Corp doing maybe bunker missions and things like that. So, yeah, that, that's pretty good. So overall, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. There's a lot of things that I think, like a lot of love that I think it could use. But overall, you know, I think it's, I think it's a pretty good deal. I think, I think this makes a lot of sense. Um, all right. Well, and that, that's, uh, that's, that's the end. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. This is the new Star Citizen tutorial. And maybe it helped some of you out.